Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in New York City at the Bronx Community College as, well, Vampire Dave uh, attempts to walk around their campus and take uh, photographs without their permission. You do know that uh, colleges tend to be private property, but I guess he's just too stupid to figure that out. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So we got activism, we here. Bronx Community College. It's CUNY. Let's go check it out. Let's go see if they're aware of the First Amendment. Oh, come on, dumbass. Of course, the uh, community colleges are going to be aware of the First Amendment. I mean, they do tend to have classes that teach the Constitution. But then again, uh, you claim to be illiterate and you most likely didn't make it past the third grade. So, yeah, I can understand your ignorance on that particular topic right there. I mean, but they do teach it. I mean, I know this because I had to take one in college myself. And they go over all seven articles and all 27 amendments. Not just the First Amendment, you freaking douchebag. A lot of these... Which way is that missions? Is huh? it this way? That missions? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Thank you. Now, Davy boy, why would you want to go to the admissions office anyway? Because as you claim, you are illiterate. And I would imagine you didn't even pass the third grade. So uh, college, even a community college, would be way too advanced for you. But you can always go to your local library and... Uh, find the book called Green Eggs and Ham. That's a good starting point to get your reading skills up to par. It'll take you a few years, but you'll get there eventually. We got the CUNY police. What can I do for you? Nope. Hey, Who's he talking to? Sir, hello? We're just gonna ignore him. Hello? It's an open public college campus. Come, come, come. Hello! This guy's bugging. How you doing, sir? What's up? No problem, I'm good. What can I do for you? No, no, no problem. You're, you're allowed to record. How you doing? How can I help you? Okay, so when you come to the campus, I want to be you coming in. You're supposed to show ID. Why? Because this is a... Excuse me. Those were public ground. When you come in, you're supposed to show for college's purpose, under the premises, you're coming in. Is it against the law? Is it against the law to come into a closed campus? To, to not show you my ID? Yes. Because what law is that? If you're not here for college property, we don't know what you're doing uh -huh. under the closed campus. Under the that, you are more than well welcome to come on. But other than right. that, if you're College I don't I don't show my ID to enter public places. To enter public places? Yeah, I don't show my ID. Well, here Everything's wide open. The gate is open. The front gate is Everything's open. open. Okay, so you don't show your ID to go into public places. I guess that's why you end up getting trespassed, well, just about every day, I suppose. But hey, if you don't want to follow security procedures uh, for safety reasons and everything like that, well, I'm sure that those other places are only too happy to show your ass right out the damn door. So that way, you won't be a security threat. Coming onto the campus... It's public, right? Right. But only under for, for the use of college purposes. Which, so is what, why, which is why I'm here. You are, you are much more than a lot. Okay. That's all. So, but you do have to show... I don't show ID to enter public places. No. Okay. So I'm here yes. anonymously. You're here anonymous? Yes, I am. Okay, so that's that's where, because even out there, you need an ID. Okay, so just to show, I'm asking. People can visit the college anonymously. Not, 
not without showing ID and you're prohibited from that from that coming in. We can enter we can enter for the college purposes. I'm here, the case, then you have I'm here for college purposes, but I'm not going to give my ID. I'm so going to go about my business now, okay? One of the gentlemen that was carrying on camera. You mean a member of the public? No, if you're a member of the public, you have to just show That's fine. In my time as a student at FSU, I can tell you something, dude. You most certainly do need your ID. If you're visiting the campus, you go to, straight to the registration office, and they will provide you with a tag, a visitor's tag. And if you refuse to identify yourself, well, uh, you can say bye-bye to the campus because they won't let you on it. It's an open public campus. It's an open public campus. Right. So have a good day. I don't show ID. Hey, how you doing, boss? What's up, man? Uh, you have to leave. Why? What's your business? What's at? your name? Lieutenant Roy Gums. Okay. Where's admissions at? Admissions? Yeah. If you have any uh, business with admissions, you can go online. Which, where, where's the admissions building at? If you have any business with admissions, do you have a. What would you say? <laughs> Appointment? Appointment. Do I need one? Yes. To gather public information? Do you need public information? You can go to the website, yeah. admissions. I'm okay. I'm going to walk around this open public campus. No, it's not open. I have a right public. to be here. Yeah, the doors are wide open. No, it's, it's not. CUNY. Those gates aren't open? No, no. So we have on the fence, you can't be on campus, right? Unless you have business on campus. I have business. No. That's not what you generate as business. So what's going to happen is you can hey, leave That's campus. not what you generate as business. Is what the law states is business. No, no. You keep uh, talking about the law, but you also keep talking about how illiterate you are. So, dude, I got a question for you. Uh, how are you able to read any of the statutes if you are, well, pretty much illiterate? So, unless I see uh, any other proof to the contrary, I will continue to assume that you are illiterate because, well, you keep on saying that you're illiterate. And if you're illiterate, then you probably don't know the law to begin with. So, any law that you uh, would like to quote, I'm just going to say citation needed, please. I mean, that's what anybody in the academic field would ask for citations. And you are on a uh, college campus where they will ask for citations. So we have policies. Okay, now, your policies don't po no, trump they're the posted. law. No, they're, what law are you going to recite to me? The, I, mean, I have a right to be here just like everybody else. You have the right to conduct business. And right, which is what no, I'm no. doing. And we're going to tell you how to conduct the business. You can't tell the public how to conduct the business on Absol public property. This is not public property. This is CUNY, right? Can you come here at 10 p.m.? If can the gates jump, are, if the you gates are right, closed... Can you jump the fence? No, it's time, place, and manner. Exactly. It's open, time, right? No, time, place, and manner. You it's open. Said it. No, you it's just open. Said it yourself. Right? Time, place, and manner. So what's the time, place, and manner right now? So what I'm telling you is... you. Time have is business hours, no, right? If you need any The place is a public place, and the manner is professionalism. I didn't finish my sentence. You cut me off. I said time, place, and manner. I was okay. finishing my sentence. Time is Let me know when time done. is business hours, right? The place is a public campus. What about the manner? The manner is professionalism. I'm handling business. No, I'm manner, conducting no, business. No, the manner is this. If you have an appointment for admissions, you have to go online, set up an appointment, right? And they'll tell you when to come in. Other than that, and then when you do come in, you're going to sign in like everyone else is doing. As you can see right there, you can put your camera down that way. I'm here anonymously, sir, which I have a right to do. I have a right to visit this public college That's anonymously. Not per, our policy, per our manner, right? Per the, the man, Fourth no. Amendment. Sir, the manner? Your policy is higher than the Fourth we're not, Amendment? We're not going to discuss this any further. The manner, as you just discussed. I didn't want to talk to none of y'all. I that, want to visit a public college that my taxes fund without being harassed. You're not being harassed. I am. You're being informed of the policies of college. Okay, and you I'm informing you of the Fourth comply. Amendment. If you, do your policy, to, if you do not want to comply uh -huh. with the, the policies of campus, you have to What well, if your policy leave. said no black people? You want to, I can't come here? That's, first of all, that's racist. And, and that's it's not, unconstitutional and that's, too, that's right? That's unconstitutional, right, absolutely. Right, and I have so the Fourth Amendment. No, what you're seeing right now is I have the Fourth Amendment. The Fourth Amendment protects you from unreasonable searches and seizures. What is so unreasonable about uh, showing your government-issued ID to get into the gate at this place? Because they want to have some sense of security. What is the freaking problem, dude? Right now is not unconstitutional. How? There's How a manner the Fourth in, Amendment? There is a manner in which you need to come on campus, and we just explain it to you. If you don't want to adhere to the manner in which you so need to come on campus... So people can't be here anonymously? Sir, is that what you're saying? Sir, if you do not want to adhere to the, the rules and regulations... What's up, man? He's a quiet one. He don't talk. 
If you don't want to adhere to the rules and regulations, you have to leave. That's I follow the law. I don't your policies don't trump so the, the law. law. Do you know what criminal trespass is? Yeah. What's I do. criminal trespass? You know that you can't trespass me from public unless there's a no, crime where being is committed. Criminal trespass? Did you know that? I mean, I'd have to be committing a crime for you to ask me to leave public property. No, that's not how it works. Criminal trespass means if this uh, property is uh -huh. enclosed, uh -huh. right? You need permission to come on. The campus. gates are wide open. No, it's enclosed, right? Because we're screening people at that gate. You see that officer right there? Uh -huh. You can go ahead and put your camera right there. If I you want that, to. Yeah, I record everything. So everyone that comes into the campus uh -huh. has to be screened properly. They're not screened, right? They don't come on campus. Are you saying that people can't visit this campus anonymously? No, you just can't walk onto a college campus and be anonymous, dude. Yeah, you can do that out on the streets, but not when you walk onto a college campus. But you know what? There's no convincing Vampire Dave of anything. He's just going to talk in circles, talk in circles, until he gets booted right off the campus. And, well, let's just go ahead and skip to that, shall we? Five hours later. So why are you restricting my access? I'm here to help facilitate your business. So facilitate me walking around, taking pictures. We can't just walk around campus. Why not? It's open and it's public. It's because that's not my course of duty. My course of duty is to refer you to people who are going to escort you around campus. That's what I mentioned. Nobody needs to escort me around an open public you campus. You don't need to escort you around an open Because campus. you're trying to restrict me and I'm trying, I'm to, I'm trying to let you know. I'm trying to, refer I'm trying to, to let you realize that it's an open public campus. I'm trying to let you realize that it's an open public campus and I have a right to be here. Right so why can't I, why are you stopping me from entering a public no, campus? I'm referring to you, the manner I don't need your referral. I don't need your referral, so I'm going to go about my business. No, you have to. The manner in which you need to conduct business is you need to go with admissions. Right? You just said that I don't need to do that. We don't need appointments to walk around campus. It's open and it's public. That's not what I said. That's I need appointments. I, I had. I did need to. You, you did. No, I didn't. Is this a is this a, a closed public forum? Is this limited? What is this? It's open by appointment. Only, you freaking dumbass. Because they don't want any anonymous person wandering around campus because that would be a security risk. In fact, take my alma mater, FSU. There are two major events that help dictate the security of that campus. One of them being, well, what Ted Bundy did over there. And the other one being what happened at Strozier Library. And that incident happened about a year before I started attending FSU. I just want to know if, if the public could come here. The public could. Do absolutely. We, need... we encourage it, actually. You're not encouraging it right now. No, we do. We want you to go to bcc.kenny.edu, set you. up Thank an appointment, you. right? Get a nice little tour date. Walk around the campus. You can see the gym. You can see uh, the library. You can see the cafeteria. Enjoy campus. We want everyone you to know, if that was the case, there would be like barriers right here. You know, there's a barrier right there, right there, and right there. You talking about that open public gate? You talking yes. about that open so gate? That open gates for access, so that uh -huh. this person right here can scream. He is a barrier. He is a barrier. He's the access point. Yes, this is the access point. Uh huh. Right? And access control okay. point. He walks onto campus. I said I told you that I don't want to waive my Fourth Amendment. I have a right to be here anonymously, right? Yeah. I have a right to conduct business, right? Yeah, you have. So I don't see what the big. So I don't see. I don't see why dictate. you're stopping me from entering this campus. No, you have every right to conduct business okay. in the manner that we dictate. That we need you to. How much of a waste of space and life do you have to be to stand here for forty-five minutes arguing about this when all you have to do if we're Getting your public information that you want is to go on to their website. Uh, or if you want to go in there by appointment, you can schedule one online. Trust me, I've had to do it before I was a student at, at FSU. I had to get an appointment to go on the freaking campus. So, dude, shut your dang mouth. Get off the damn campus and, uh, well... Get yourself a real job, education, or whatever, because you are sorely lacking in everything at that point. So you're saying that you need appointments into this campus? Sure. Okay. All right. Have a good day. God bless you. See you later. So you need appointments to enter this open public campus to walk around. How hard was it to say that?
You need an appointment to walk around the open public campus. Well, you are so incredibly thick-headed that, well, it just finally sunk in that he had been telling you that the whole time. But you don't want to give him credit for trying to educate you on that from the very beginning. Oh, you are a sad, pathetic little man, aren't you? Oh, yes, you are. And that's the way you'll be for the rest of your life, sad and pathetic and, well, jobless. And with no prospects after this YouTube gig is over with. I mean, eventually it's going to come to an end and, uh, well, you will have pissed off everybody in New York to the point where where you can't get shit done so at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?